Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Muhammad Shweb. Welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to control the visibility of screen or button based on the user login inside the WinCC SCADA. This is a powerful feature to enhance the security and ensure different user have access to only the necessary part of your SCADA graphics screens. In a multi-user environment, different user like operator, engineer or administrator should have different level of access to screens and controls. WinCC make it easy to dynamically hide or display objects based on who is logging. So in this video, we will learn how on the basis of login, we can control the visibility of different screens or buttons. So for example, in the previous tutorial video, we saw here we have the one button of the user admin. So if I will log in with the engineer account, So as you see, once I log in with engineer account, then this button is visible. And if I will click it, I'm able to navigate to the user admin screen. And similar manner, this button also, just I put it for example, there are many use cases there. So if I will log out, so then the both button and our group uh, screen navigation, and button also disappear or hide. Suppose if I will log in with the operator user, so operator don't have access. So with the operator user, we will not able to see those uh, buttons and the screen navigations. So let's see practically how so we can configure it inside the WinCC SCADA. So in our previous tutorial, we already developed this WinCC project and we also configure some of the user account in the user administrator in our previous video. So we'll use the same user accounts and also uh, here we'll use the same graphical designer. So I will open this main screen. So our graphic designer's screen is open now. So we already developed this screen in our previous tutorial. And I will add it here one button. And I will put the name button. This is a just example. I put one object. You can uh, put any of the objects okay so first we have to make sure we should know the name of our object if i will click here button you can see the object name is button one and similar manner this user admin group actually i group some text and picture image so if i will come here in the group i can see the name is group five and button one okay the first step I will come here miscellaneous and display. It means it will always visible. So I will put it no. So it means once the screen is load or in the runtime, it will not be visible by default. So in other case, visibility or display property should be false or no. And similar manner, this group five also I will put go miscellaneous display and I will put it no. Okay. And the third step, I will come here and here I will add some script come in event miscellaneous object change. Object change 
like so if any value change in this uh, text box or object so in that time this script will execute so i will add so i never want to execute this script every time okay because once the user account will change suppose operator to login administrator supervisor any of the here the text will change so only in that time i want to to execute this script so i will right click here and select the vbs action now here i will insert the, my script so just to reduce the video length i will just paste here my script so how it will work so we'll create a one a use a current user variable and then i will import the current username internal object value inside this variable so from where you can take it like you will click here and come here in internal tag and here you can find it current username just press ok then it will import it here this whole name it will come in so this smart tag will bring uh, like it will move our tag current value inside the current user variable and after that we will do the comparison between current user if the uh, if the current user value is equal than engineer in that case this script will execute so actually we uh, we want like the button should be button and our group should be appear only in when when the uh, user uh, login with the engineer account so that's why i put it here engineer once the current user value is engineer in that time this script will execute else the below script will execute so how in the i in the previous tutorial i already very in detail explanation how this hmi run time script is uh, working if you did not saw those video please saw the, those video you will better understand so here i am just putting in the uh, in the beginning i show you this object name like button one and this group name is a button group five so this will be true this both should be visible once the this uh, this if condition is uh, true if false then the below will execute press ok and then save and after that run the project So as you can see now, it's not uh, visible because we did not log in with any account. Suppose if I will log in with operator, for example. So you will see it will not be visible because I log in with the operator user. If I will log out, if I will log in to engineer user, So uh, you can see once I log in through engineer user, um, this user admin group or button is visible and I can able to navigate between different screens and similar manner this button also visible. So Alhamdulillah, we'll learn in this tutorial video how in the user 
account uh, the base control how we can do it like with us if we want to uh, hide with any of the object through any of the user account how we can do it in so we'll learn this tutorial video thanks for watching this video